Hello again, everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how you can uh, configure Python 3.12 to allow you to uh, pip install packages without creating a virtual environment. Uh, so this came about the other day when I upgraded my Linux Mint uh, from Virginia to Wilma. Uh, Virginia had Python 3.10. Uh, Wilma has 3.12. Uh, and when I went to go pip install, uh, it recommended I install uh, virtual environments or create virtual environments to uh, manage my packages. Uh, and that is definitely the correct and proper way to do it. Um, but I kind of like to just tinker with things. And uh, a lot of times virtual environments just kind of hold me up. Uh, and I think this same process may apply to Python 3.11, uh, but I did not test that. Uh, okay, all that out of the way, let's jump right in. Uh, so I have a new-ish install of uh, Linux Mint Wilma. Let's see if I can make that bigger. And we can check that with uh, catting the etc OS release. Put in your password and you see uh, we are on Wilma and we will check our Python version with Python 3 uh, dash dash version uh, you see 3.12 okay uh, so here is where the issue comes up if I pip install oh let's say pandas uh, oh uh, because it's a new install or a new upgrade uh, I need to install pip, so sudo apt install python3 pip. And it may prompt you for a password if you're on Linux. It didn't prompt me because I already sudoed when I catted the release. And that's fine. Yes, install. And that should just take a, a moment or two. And so I get the reasoning behind it. Uh, Linux does use uh, Python in the operating system, uses some of those packages. Uh, so if you're installing packages, uh, depending on how you're doing it, there is always a risk that you'll go to install something and it'll say, oh, actually, I need uh, this version of this package. And you'll say, OK, fair enough. Uh, uninstall the current version, install a different version, but then, oh, no. Uh, something behind the scenes you weren't aware of uh, was using that specific package and that version and something breaks. Um, I haven't really run into that, so that's why I'm kind of comfortable plowing ahead like this. All right, so control L to give a, ourselves some space. And now I want to pip install pandas Okay, here's where the error comes. Uh, externally managed environment. Uh, the environment is externally managed. Um, uh, let's see, trying to find any interesting parts here. Uh, somewhere here it says you want to create, ah, there we go. Uh, create a virtual environment using Python 3. Uh, dash M, V, E, N, V, etc. Okay, uh, so you can definitely follow these instructions, uh, create the virtual environments, and you're good to go. Uh, but if you want to just suppress this and just be able to install stuff, uh, first we need to find uh, where pip is configured. So to do that, we're going to do Python 3 uh, dash M pip config debug and this is going to just show us the areas it is looking for configuration files. Uh, so I did some Googling and it looks like, I'm surprised this one is lower on the list, but it does take precedence, precedence <laughs> over all of the others. Um, and it just seems like a clean, short path. So uh, what we're going to do is sudo uh, nano, which is an editor that comes uh, pre-installed and pip.conf and 
global like that. And then let's see, I believe the error message, oh, I'm still in it. Uh, actually, I have a note here. Break global packages equals true. Uh, control X, Y to save that, enter to keep the name. And now we should be able to pip install pandas. And actually we might need to start a new terminal for that configuration to be picked up. At least I hope that's what the problem is. Pip install pandas. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it notices the file that we put into place. Uh, so again, Python 3-m. Was it? Oh, I don't have a note for that one. Uh, that would be pip config debug. Uh, did I not name that correctly? Let's see. Need to put in my password again because I'm going in there um, in a fresh terminal. That's why I needed to uh, re enter my password. Uh, break global packages true. I think I did that all correctly. Let me jump back. Uh, these are some Stack Overflow, um, I don't know what you call it, posts, I guess. Uh, that I found very useful. I will post links down in the comments. I would give them a shout out here, but I feel like I would just butcher the names. And uh, you can, oh, break system packages. Control X, Y, let's try that again. Okay, and now we are good to go. Uh, so again, that's how to fix uh, the error. Uh, trying to remember what the error was. Uh, the externally managed environment error. Um, again, not the best way to do it. Uh, and I guess while I'm here, uh, two more things. One, if, if you're new to using uh, Linux, Linux Mint, um, a good thing to do, or what I like to do, is modify my bash rc file so I can just do Python instead of Python 3. So I'm going to uh, control end and alias, what do I want to alias? Uh, Python is actually going to equal Python 3. And control x, y to save. Now Python I need to source, which will uh, reload the bash rc file, making those variables configurations available in the current terminal. And now I should be able to do Python. Okay, now if you are on Windows, bring over my uh, little cheat sheet here, see if I can make that bigger. Uh, it looks like you just, mm, and that should be system. So if you are on Windows, I believe uh, you just need to do what we did, create the pip.conf uh, file, but in Windows it would be pip.ini, and uh, you would just put the, the same lines in. Again, I will link to uh, these two Stack Overflow posts. Um, one which shows the entry you need to put in. Uh, the other one which showed me how to see where the configuration files are. Uh, so uh, kudos to these individuals. Always give credit where credit is due. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you out there out. Uh, got you going so you won't have to hit those speed bumps as you're 
as you're playing with packages, developing, or uh, doing whatever you do with Python. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video.